bring it back. But the stalls and traders in the shadow of the cathedral felt very different to the market that had been there in years past. Well, some say the council now is catering for day trippers and tourists with the new setup. But one councillor we spoke to told us the market is for everyone. James Dunham here to see what's on sale. The bunting might have been coincidental, but there were many people celebrating the return of stalls to St George's Street after 18 months. I did miss it, but so it's good. I'm pleased that they're bringing it back. It's part of our tradition. There's always been a market here since I lived in Canterbury. Is there anything in there to interest you? No. The food is just too pricey. At the top of the street, fruit and veg is sold, in keeping with Canterbury's 700-year-old market traditions. But the new stalls in this rebirth offer more artisan and bespoke goods. There's something different. If you want to try something different, you don't have to be doing the same everyday norm. Yes, going to a shop and buy something over the counter, but I think that kind of experience of being um, able to talk things through, especially things like skincare, because it can be a real uh, minefield. The battle over this market began in 2022 when the council, then run by the Conservatives, closed it for the street to be regenerated. So yes, the market is back, but things are a little different. It used to operate twice a week, but now the stalls will only be here on Wednesdays. Meanwhile, many of the old traders who used to sell their products in this location aren't here either. Instead, they are spread out elsewhere in the city. Campaigners claim increased pitch fees at £81 for a large spot have made it unaffordable. The market traders themselves have been betrayed by this council and we'll continue to fight this and we'll also continue to highlight what's gone on here because there's no reason at all for Canterbury City Council to congratulate itself. But the Labour and Lib Dems who've reopened the market say people should be delighted. If you've got a mess, you can do two things. You can sit and whinge about it, or you can roll up your sleeves and get on with it. But have you priced out the old traders by increasing costs of pitch fees? OK, it's a 10% increase. And considering that um, it closed down for 18 months and then opened up again, I don't think 10% on, on rents that hadn't gone up for some time is un, unreasonable at all. The council hopes this market will grow to drive footfall in the city centre. It insists everyone is welcome. James Dunham, ICV News, Canterbury.